Now the great thing about a pie chart is that you can see data as proportions of a whole, as slices of a pie. And so that's what we'd like to see here with health, academic, and personal goals being the slices of the pie. So to create a pie chart, we need to make sure we have a particular format for the data. The first column must be the label, which is shown here. The second column must be the numeric value. If you highlight this range here and go into Insert Chart, another way we can do that is to simply go here to this button, Insert Chart, we can now preview the different recommended charts, with the pie chart being one of them. Now, what we can do is we can customize it immediately. So let's adjust the chart title and let that be the percent of goals accomplished by type. We can adjust the legend. So let's keep the legend on the right side. Font, Arial, Slice. Do we want to show percentages? Yes, we do. But there might be cases where we create a pie chart where we'd like to show the value instead. In this case, this is the number of goals we accomplished. At times, you might not want any label. So at that point, you click None. Another interesting application is further down in the slices, you can adjust which slice you want and change the color. So in this case, if we want health to be represented by purple, we can adjust that here. Once we are happy with this, you can click Insert, and the chart would be populated. Now, I'd like to introduce something to you. You don't necessarily need to have the legend shown here to the right. You could have it shown embedded in the chart itself. So how can we do that? Do you remember this quick edit mode? If you click on the quick edit mode here, hover over the legend button, and let's edit that legend. Rather than have the legend on the right side, we can call it labeled. And what that means is now that legend is within each label of the pie chart, which looks pretty neat. Now, if there's a situation where you don't want this chart to be shown within the same worksheet with all the other data, we can move this chart to have its own spreadsheet, uh, to have its own worksheet rather. And so the way we can do that is you hover over here in the upper right side, click on that, and ask for this chart to move to its own sheet. So at that point, the chart is listed over here. Now, this is a good looking, it's a two dimensional pie chart. There might be cases where you want to snazz it up a bit and show something that's not necessarily 2D. So the way we could do that is come back up to the advanced edit. Do you remember in that start when we listed our range and there were a bunch of different recommended charts? Well, if you click on more here, and if you click down to the pie chart, you'll notice that this is what we have here, it's the pie chart. But you can also have a 3D pie chart, or you can do something called a donut chart, which uh, has that little hole like a donut. So there you have it. Different ways you can customize your chart. We'll stick with the 3D for now. And so as a quick summary, what did we learn today? We learned how to create a chart using the data listed up here. Again, recall that if you want to create a pie chart, you must have the labels here followed by the values, two columns. Once you have the appropriate data range, you can create the chart by going up, as a reminder, to this button where it says Insert Chart. Another way you can do that is to head up here called Insert and click down under the chart. At that point, all the editing can come two ways. You can do an advanced edit where you, under the Customize tab, you, have very, you can essentially customize everything here. Or if you want to do a quick editor mode, you click on the area of the chart that you'd like to edit, and you do that by pressing along this button on the left-hand side. Great! Thank you so much for listening. For more information, you can visit our website at www.spreadsheetsolving.com. Take care.